Good morning, love. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash. If you're new here, I hope you decide to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Um, so today, uh, me and the baby are just out here in the living room. Uh, I was super excited because we got couches finally. Me and the baby are just out here. I'm drinking coffee. He's having his breakfast. <laughs> um, so today my hair looks all freaking cute i have like this little headband on i got a bun um i don't have any makeup on i like kind of roughly did my brows i just kind of like threw a pencil through it real quick uh nothing crazy but i've been really wanting to do this video on facebook as you guys know there's like groups and stuff right so i don't know how i got into this group but these women are freaking wild okay like I'm scrolling through these groups sometimes and I'm like, what the hell? Like, are you serious? You know what I mean? Like, the things that they're saying, the things that they're posting, the things that they're commenting. Like, it's a private group, so obviously this nobody publicly can see this. So they can put whatever the hell they want and it's it seriously gets wild, okay? And some of them have really deep questions. Some of them have, like, some serious situations. Like, whatever. You get what I'm saying, right? So... <laughs> I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I see in this private group because I crack my ass up. Like, I'll be sitting here scrolling and I'll be like, oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> like, it's hilarious. So, I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I've been really, really enjoying, like, that group. But, obviously, like I said, is it's private, so you guys would never, you know, know or see any of this stuff. So, for the sake of their privacy, um, I'm going to blur out or scratch out their names, so that way you guys don't know who it is, um, and their picture and stuff. But, you guys will still see, like, the comments, you guys will still see, like, the post and everything like that. So, I'm going to screen record everything, and then when I'm editing, I'll just edit all that other stuff out. So yeah, if you do want to see this video, then go ahead and keep watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I don't know what you're waiting for if you're not subscribed already. And if you do share this video, then of course it's going to reach more people. So help me grow my channel, darling. I would greatly appreciate it. And oh my gosh, we hit 1K! Ah! Okay, that's not... Yeah! Oh, my baby's excited so that's not this video but um, I hit 1k yesterday officially and I was like jumping up and down all excited so thank you guys so much of course I love the support as always I love making these videos I love you know my channel I love doing my makeup and all that stuff so um, of course you guys know that I do like beauty lifestyle vlogs whatever so I do a lot more beauty than anything of course you guys know that but I'm trying to like switch it up for you so I thought this would be kind of fun so yeah you guys if you want to see whatever the hell is about to happen then go ahead and keep watching I'm on Facebook and I'm going to the groups right so it's called Queen or Queens or something. But let's see. <laughs> so this person said, anybody got this? <laughs> it's a freaking vagina. It's a fake vagina. <laughs> With a piercing. Hell no. Nah. Does anybody have that? Does anybody have that? <laughs> I don't have that. Oh, that's such an ugly little thing. <laughs> My god. Okay. This looks like it's something deep. So, this lady says, My guy slash baby dad would rather spend time with his friends than me. Started, it's starting to really hit home. Like, to the point I just be wanting to tell him to go be single and do him because I feel unappreciated and played like I know I'm pregnant and can't go out like that but damn staying in the house watching a movie playing the game or even a stroll around the mother neighborhood will really satisfy me but every time I turn around I got to hear about his freaking friend what y'all what would y'all do let's go to the comments so <laughs> She says, tell him he should have got his friend pregnant. What the F? <laughs> I don't know, cuz if you out here, so the fuck am I. <laughs> pregnant and all, leave with his ass. What's he gonna do? Make you stay home? I play shit how it's played. 
<laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> Alright, so the next person said, I guess you're just going to have to sit down and be mad about it until you have that baby. There's men that are very involved in their baby mama's pregnancy, and then there's men that aren't really concerned with what you're going through. They're just trying to live their best life before the baby gets here. Your man sounds like that, and there's nothing you can do about it now because you're already pregnant. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the next person says, girl, you gotta tell him. Sometimes some people, it's really unintentional. They really don't see it, sadly. Another person said, tell him. And then this one says, it's very annoying and sucks, especially since you're pregnant and can't get out yourself. But try to get your own hobbies. Go to the pool, have your friends come over, go to your friends to talk, something to keep you preoccupied. I don't know if you're one of the people concerned about the virus, but if so, do some stuff in the house to get ready for the baby. That's a great idea. Okay, next person says, if I were you, I wouldn't make him choose between them and the baby, but I would tell him how I feel, and if he don't want to change, I would tell his ass to hit the road, honey. Too many men out here to be worried about one, you feel me? <laughs> okay, sis. <laughs> okay, so what is your opinion on that? Like, I think he definitely shouldn't be out playing with his friends and stuff. Like, you got a whole family that is in the process. We got to make sure that we are solid. We have to make sure that everything is, like, Gucci between us before you just out there kicking it with your friends. What the f No. <laughs> so, um, no. <laughs> All right, so this next one had said... Could you be with a man that provides and loves the shit out of you but can't protect you physically? <laughs> so, I'm in the comments. One girl said no. Another one said, can he shoot? Because if so, then yeah. <laughs> Another one said, yeah, just because a man look like he can slash can't protect you don't mean it's true. My baby daddy don't look like he can, but from what I've been told about him, he a beast. Okay, everybody's going to say they're a beast or something. <laughs> says buy that man a pistol sis take him to the range <laughs> that's actually funny <laughs> she said how you know your man can't fight for real i just never thought of being with a nigga who don't swing if i swing <laughs> this one said no i always felt if i don't feel safe for the guy to protect me i can't fool with him from jump i mean it's a preference said nope Gun ranges, shooting lessons, license to carry, taekwondo, karate, taser, shit. He can hire a bodyguard. <laughs> you need to be protected by your man, though. <laughs> Another one said, well, I can fight, so. <laughs> oh, this girl said, yes, I don't give a fuck. My standards are iffy right now. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, moving on. She said, ladies. I ordered us some new niggas. They come in Friday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This one says thoughts. This married man with his pregnant wife will be having their baby in three months, but his side piece had her baby first. The baby's in this picture. The couple's been together for over 15 years. How forgiving are you? Are you this mature? Is this a normal reaction? Uh, honey. <laughs> um... So this guy said, God doesn't make mistakes. Unfortunately, people do. This is not the ideal situation, nor am I the perfect man, husband, or father, but we learn from our mistakes. I'm grateful for God's mercy and to have an incredibly strong and forgiving wife by my side. I appreciate the woman she is. Um, okay. This is where the real discussion is gonna happen, all right? <laughs> like, you need to comment down below, like right now, and let me know what you think of this, okay? So they've been together for 15 years. And he cheated, got this woman pregnant, went back to his wife, got her pregnant three months later. The wife knows he cheated and they're taking a picture with the child from the side woman and with her. So the side chick isn't in the picture. So if they're so forgiving and if this is so like acceptable, then why isn't she in the picture with her baby? He's holding the baby, she should be in the picture, and then his wife is in the picture with her pregnant belly. Like, I don't understand. Like, the wife is taking a picture with the side chick's baby. So, obviously, yes, this is very mature, but I think, in all honesty, it depends on the woman, and it depends on the situation, you know? Let's say, maybe when he got that other girl pregnant, they were having serious, serious problems, and maybe they didn't think that they were gonna make it through. Um, 
he probably got that bitch pregnant thought like hey um i don't want to be with you forever i can take care of your kid i can take care of our child but um we're not going to be like in a relationship so i'm just going to say that i think that this is absolutely freaking insane I don't know that I could do this. I don't know that I have the strength to sit here and just be like, oh yeah, sure. Like if that's the situation and that's what happened, like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like you clearly made your decision, but I don't know that I could sit here and like really pretend like I'm okay with it when this isn't okay. Like that's not okay. We've been together for 15 years. You cheated on me and got somebody pregnant and then I'm pregnant at the same time, but she had her baby first. Like, and this is our first kid in our marriage. Like that would break my heart. Oh my God. I would be so upset so comment down below and let me know what you think right now because um i this like pissed me off like oh hell no <laughs> all right so now we're on to the comments for that video first lady's like no what would have been mature is him being man enough not to put Yay. two people in this position and keep it in his pants 100 1000 1 million percent absolutely another one says i'm a work in progress i could not be that forgiving i am sorry i couldn't I would not keep myself in this situation, but if it works for her, that's her business. I'm sure he'll do it again and she'll forgive again. The only way I'd be smiling this hard with his outside baby is if I knew the one I'm carrying wasn't his. What if it was the other way around and she told him the kid isn't his? Will he stay? Will he be forgiving? That is a good question. Guys usually are. They can rip you to pieces up and down, but the moment you do it to them, they're like, out. Bullshit. That's just freaking ridiculous. Like, that's literally all I can say. Like, this is just the dumbest shit that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Mom, don't let your feet hang off the bed or the monster will eat them. Me. <laughs> They're butting. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright, so this says... So I received this message from my baby dad's mom last night. My baby's two weeks. I didn't get a congratulations. No, how are you and the baby's been? Nothing. This is the first time I've heard from her in a long time. P.S. Me and my baby's dad are in an entanglement or whatever, but he hasn't asked me for no DNA and was with me every step of having our baby. How would you respond? Oh my gosh. So it's a screenshot that says I'd like to do a DNA test. Let me know when I can come and test her. Oh, hell no. So she said her baby's two weeks, the mom hasn't congratulated her, she hasn't asked how her or the baby's been or nothing, so she just randomly hits her up at 10.30pm and says, I want to do an a, a DNA test. That would piss me off. That's messed up. Like, my questions are, did discussion of the DNA test come up while she was pregnant? Like, did the mom say it when they got in an argument? Like, is this something that is seriously out of the blue? Or did she, like, mention it before? You know what I mean? Because if she, if they've, as long as she's been pregnant, if she's been around the mom and, you know, the mom's made comments or, you know, there's been, stop, honey, stop. There's been some kind of, I don't know, but a comment or something made that the mom doesn't believe that that's his kid, then this isn't as shocking. It's still messed up, don't get me wrong, it's still messed up, but it's like, you already kind of knew that she felt that way, so don't be shocked that she's like, like just asking for it now. She's just straight up telling you, hey, I want a DNA test. Like, maybe she has her doubts because of something you've done in the past or whatever. I mean, maybe not, maybe not, but I'm just trying to think of why she would just come out of the blue and say this. So, oh, and it's on Messenger. So this isn't even like a personal text message. She messages this bitch on Facebook. Ooh. All right, what do these comments say? Dang, these women are going in in these comments. Oh my gosh, there's like 500 comments. First comment says blocked. You didn't fuck her, so she needs to move the fuck on. <laughs> Next one says, I would respond with bitch. When you lay down and made the baby, you can test the baby. Till then, get the fuck out of here. If your baby daddy want to test, then he need to speak to you about it. That ain't her place. Sorry, but I don't tolerate ignorance. <laughs> uh, another one said, go to hell. F her. Tell her bring some tennis shoes so you can knock her ass out. Goofy ass bitch. <laughs> Did I have sex with you or your son? <laughs> it's not her business. Same happened with me. Fuck her. Girl, F you. The mom is messy. <laughs> Girl, if you tell your son to come get it, and if he tells, if he does, tell him get it through child support, because why he playing like that? Oh, man. I wouldn't respond. You don't owe her shit. Mind your business. 
he needs to check his mom. See, that's the type of shit that'll make you do the DNA test just to put his ass on child support and have his mama pay it since she want to be involved so badly. Okay. <laughs> no response is the best response here. I agree. I'd have to agree. Like, would you guys say something? Would you not say something? I would ignore it only just because, like, if your son wants one, he could tell me. But you... That don't have nothing to do with you, you know what I mean? Like, if he really felt some type of way, then he could have let me know that while I was pregnant, when he found out I was pregnant, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, this could have definitely gone between him and I. Like, you don't need to get involved. So unless he's telling you and he can't tell me, and then you're telling me, like, oh yeah, that would piss me off. Like, mm -mm. I wouldn't even respond to her, period, and let her baby daddy know what she inboxed you so he can put her ass in her place. She would get cussed out says honestly I, I wouldn't respond for it because if I did it would probably be disrespectful not I'm not in the business of disrespecting nobody's mom but also because who is she to request a DNA test on a child <laughs> all right you guys so that is it for the video today <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you think this is crazy this is wild let me know how you would handle these situations because I know I would be like I would be wild because I can't just, I can't know. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.